All right, everyone. The other day, Elon Musk went on Joe Rogan's podcast, and uh, Joe Rogan did some. He's he never does this at all. He whips out a blunt and he starts smoking it because you know he really likes marijuana. It's not a problem there, by the way. It's legal. I, I'm I'm surprised they haven't shut him down for this. Well, you're teaching kids it's okay to use marijuana or something. You you watch. The left will eventually pretend to be morally outraged about something like that in order to target a bunch of hippie trippy libertarians and knock them out of the way for their corporate media masters. You watch, they're already kicking the populists out of the way. None of them are actually bigoted, so, you know, the original uh, 2006 era explanation for deplatforming sort of falls apart when you look at who's generally targeted. You know, InfoWars, maybe Paul Joseph Watson maybe get kicks off, kicked off or something. Uh, but Joe Rogan whips out the blunt, and he's talking to Elon Musk about, on his show about, like, electric planes and shit. Musk takes it and starts smoking it. And, and cue the memes, because he looks quizzically at the blunt like he's studying it for some scientific purpose. He's like, come on, wonder the aerodynamics of a blunt or something. It's very, very funny and kind of, you know, amusing and charming. Uh, but then the Daily Beast in the USA Today, links in the description. I'm sure others as well, but like, I'm not going to dig through every tweet about Elon Musk and Joe Rogan this morning. Um, they started attacking him. They're like, the USA Today was like, oh, he's increasingly erratic. Now he's smoking marijuana. And the Daily Beast is like, oh, he's trying to alienate any potential investors because he's a self-destructive maniac. And I'm thinking to myself, the left has gone beyond ideology now into simple opportunism, very brutish, very primitive. And what they're doing is that they have an overarching ideology, but they apply it selectively. It's sort of like a, a, a one and a zero in that sense. It's like it applies or doesn't apply to someone based on whether they like or dislike the person. So if they're talking about Jeff Sessions, who they don't like, it's, oh, marijuana is so great, and Jeff Sessions is boring grandpa because he doesn't believe uh, in, in even medical marijuana. Basically, he's an old has-been, he's a relic, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a, he's a funny dude because he doesn't understand marijuana. They also don't like Elon Musk. They think he's far right or something. Elon Musk, I believe, not that long ago came out and said, yeah, I basically believe in socialism. It's just not the same socialism as these fuckers in Hollywood uh, who, who have, are becoming more and more authoritarian because he's also a corporatist, let's face it. He, he's more of a capitalistic individual. Uh, he appears to believe in wealth redistribution on a Sanders level. Uh, but Musk comes out, says that. He, all he's ever done, as far as I know, is he ridiculed that one diver in uh, wherever it was with the flooded cave there, and that was that was a little bit erratic <laughs> at the time. I think he called him like a, a, pre, a sexual predator or something, uh, and I think he's being sued in the UK, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, he does act a little bit erratic at times, admittedly. Uh, and then he's like, he's talked about Trump, but didn't, you know, basically say Trump was Hitler. So he softballs Trump a couple times, he becomes instant enemy of groups like the Daily Beast. So they don't like Elon Musk, so they'll attack like Jeff Sessions for not wanting you to smoke weed, then they'll attack Joe Rogan for smoking weed. It's pure opportunism, it's, it's just a respecter of persons instead of maybe a more fleshed out overall ideology. In, in other words, it's the opposite of maybe somebody like myself. My ideology is liberty, so I like you know, left, left wingers, they'll say off the wall shit that I don't agree with, but I maintain the ideology. I don't want to suddenly begin censoring them just because I believe they're unhinged. It'd be the same as like a Sessions Evangelo Con. He's going to say things, or Mike Pence, certainly. He's going to say things about the Bible or Jesus that I think are totally kooky, but he has the right to say them. But they don't have an ideology so much. It's, it's what I've spoken of a few days ago. Ideology has been supplanted at this point among the left. There is no strong central core ideology. That's why the Democrats are having so much of a problem formulating an election platform that doesn't involve Trump is unhinged. He is bad, mean person with small hands. That's what they're running on. Democrat good, Republican bad, very, very primitive. It's like a third grader could, uh, could think up that platform. It basically is a third grader's political platform. It's like Bab Babby's first student government. That's basically how they're running. So he smokes pot. And this is a big problem because it shows he's erratic. He's a, a, a leading, bad example for the kids or something. I, again, I, I have every belief that there will come a time when the corporate liberals, at least, maybe not the social justice far left because they smoke weed every day, the corporate liberals... There will come a time when they'll probably come out and, and attack people for that. 
they'll attack the Joe Rogans. They'll say, well, you're a bad example for the kids. We need to, we need to restrict the, your content and deplatform and deperson you Alex Jones style because you smoked weed on your show and we don't want our kids seeing that. The left is becoming increasingly moralistic. They do this with like food and stuff. They're like, well, if you're not a militant vegan, <laughs> there's a major problem with you. You ate a steak or, uh, you know, sexually, they're becoming prudish. Actually, they've gone full circle. They went through their orgy phase and now they're coming back to the point where they're so paranoid about uh, about sexism that they can't even get laid. It's like they're becoming a bunch of celibates. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're not incels because it's not involuntary. It's become a, a quasi ideology for them. It's actually very, very strange to see them come full circle like this. It's only taken a couple of years. I know, there were authoritarian tendencies before like 2015, 2016, but it's worse now. It's getting far, far worse. The far left is imploding itself. It's actually very funny. Yeah. Elon Musk smoked marijuana. No, he's, he's on Joe Rogan's show. Joe Rogan is always sober. He would never do such a thing. Now, he's a, he's a perfect example of a, a trad con. No, he's not. Meanwhile, some of the people that are like trad cons, they'll, they'll probably criticize them. Oh my goodness, the devil's weed. Uh, it's a gateway drug. There are still people that believe that. I've actually encountered people. They're like religious right-wingers or whatever. Or they're just very, very badly outdated in their mentality about these things. They actually like sound like Mike Pence or Jeff Sessions. They sound like uh, the sort of people who actually, like if they found little Jimmy with a little green bag under his bed, they would give him a two-hour lecture on how he's ruining his life or something. And meanwhile, without recognizing it, they're actually beginning to emulate groups like the USA Today or the Daily Beast, these liberal outlets. And the Daily Beast is dedicated liberal. Like, they don't even, they don't deny it that they're biased. They're like, yeah, we're a liberal publication. We're proud of it, though, because reality has a liberal bias, they would say. The USA Today, meanwhile, is just corporate neoliberalism, basically. So, uh, yeah, Elon Musk might be erratic. You can think that he's got, you know, he's like, I don't know, psycho genius or something. Uh, you can think that he's a little bit psychotic or erratic or he's off his rocker. He's, he's melting down. Okay, believe that, but uh, smoking weed is not evidence of that. Smoking weed is evidence that you smoked weed. Uh, you sound like you're living in the 1970s and that you're, you know, a pearl clutcher who will become a, a, a concerned mother against Satanists or something like that when you're making these claims. That's about all. Peace out.